One of the questions that came up was alkalinity and what alkalinity actually is. Alkalinity is essentially another way to measure pH and keep our pH reading much more accurate. So an ideal alkalinity, alkalinity level is between 80 to 120 parts per million. We measure it the same way we would measure pH. We measure it the same way we would measure chlorine. We use a test tab, we use our 10 milliliters of water, and that helps dilute the tab to give us an idea of what our reading is. But essentially what the alkalinity does is if it was within that ideal level of 80 to 120 parts per million, we're more likely going to have a more accurate pH reading over a longer period of time. If your alkalinity is out of balance, if it's higher than 120 or lower than 80 parts per million, all that means is my pH could still be ideal today, but tomorrow it might be at 7.2. And then the next day it might be at 7.8. So until I balance out that alkalinity, I have a very difficult time of, um, of keeping my pH in a good balance. The way we balance the alkalinity, raising it with a sodium bicarbonate or decreasing it with um, I'm raising it with a sodium bicarbonate or decreasing it with our acid. Same thing we do for pH.